Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group. And in today's video, I just want to say if you are somebody that is watching this video and you are in the throes of shopping for voiceover IP, I want you to stop what you're doing and call me first before you contact the voiceover IP carriers and try to shop directly. At the time of this video, or not even at the time of this video, in the last six months, you guys, if I'm being honest, we have been swamped. And I am thankful for it. And I welcome your call and the calls of any others that need voiceover IP services or internet services or anything else for their business. But at the time of this video, I'm receiving almost daily calls of people that, you know, have already engaged the carriers directly and they've already signed up for service. Uh, and then they're calling me up and they want to know if I can help get them out of a jam or if I can get them a much better price than what they got on the contract they have because they've realized that they're being overcharged or that they've got services that they may or may not have needed. In short, once you go down this road, I can't help you. Um, so I want to go into some pointers and things here about why you need to be calling me first or why I recommend you call me first before you engage the carriers and let me do the shopping for you and take the heavy lifting out of this process. So just a couple of, st just a few stories I want to throw by you guys of just some scenarios that I've seen. And these are all just in the last month, you know, before the time of this video. So I had a woman that called me approximately about maybe four to six weeks ago. Uh, she was a insurance company, mid-sized insurance company. She had 38 extensions. So that's 35, I'm sorry, so that's 38, oh, I can't count today. That's 38 phones in an insurance office across two, uh, in an insurance company across two offices. She calls me up and she tells me she's got XYZ carrier. You know, she's telling me that she's stuck in a contract and she, she thinks she made a big mistake. And, you know, we talk a little bit and I tell her, you know what? I don't think you made a big mistake. I think the carrier that you have is actually fine for what you need. And so we're good there. I told her, I said, if I was you, I said, I can't do it for you because you signed up this on your own and I can't touch any accounts that are existing that I didn't work. But this is what I recommend you do. Go back to this carrier and say you need this and this and that and get your service changed like this. So at the end of the conversation, she says, you know what? Can I ask you a serious question? This is how much I'm actually paying per month. If I had have went through you because I saw in your videos, you said you can always get a better deal. If I had have went through you, how much would it have been? And I looked at her numbers. She sent me an email of her quote and I told you, I said, you know, honestly, if I'm being honest, you don't want to know what I could have gotten it for you at if you had have went through me. And she said, what do you mean by that? I said, it would have been cheaper. She said, how much cheaper? I said approximately 38%, I mean, I'm sorry, about 42% cheaper. And it was, I felt so bad for her because she sounded like she was gonna cry on the phone. She even wanted to try to get out of the contract and see if I could go back to the carrier and requote it over and get her the pricing and promotions that I could have gotten. But not only is that kind of a, a cheap shot on my part to the carrier because they take good care of me, it was too late. She was stuck in a three-year contract anyways that she had literally signed like the previous week before she called me. Um, so anyways, lesson learned. Next scenario is, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, next scenario is, is I had a client that called me that signed up for service. Pricing was good. The carrier they picked was fine. They had no quarrels from me there. But they got up creek with a really terrible onboarding and also they were having just tons and tons of problems with porting their numbers over, taking almost six weeks to port, which is not common because porting usually takes anywhere from seven to 14 calendar days, um, usually, and sometimes sooner. I see ports happen two to three days in. Um, here is the problem. For those of you who are watching, what you may or may not know is yes, you do have access to customer service and technical support through the carrier that you go through. But there's also something else that you get for the life of your account and you don't have to pay for it because the carriers pay me and take good care of me is me as your liaison to deal as kind of a bridge between you and your carrier when problems arise or if you just need add-ons or just have questions or just need things done with your system like cutting on and off features and things like that. This person had really gotten themselves way up the creek and unfortunately I had to tell them over the phone, look, I don't mean to sound rude, but because you went direct, I can't help you. I can't touch your account because it wasn't my, I wasn't the 
agent or the partner dealer that helped you work the account. So I'm not even authorized to even call into the carrier and talk about your account on your behalf. And a lot of that is not all is for security reasons. It has nothing to do with the money or the fact that I, you know, I would, would have hoped that that person had have came through me first. It's a security reason. You know, I can't touch accounts that, you know, I don't know anything about them or I don't even know who the owner or who the office manager or executors that signed up or set up that account are. So again, lesson learned. If you want my help in the immediate and in the future with your account, you need to come through me to let me do that so that I can be kind of named on your account as a liaison or somebody that can work with you as a technical, what we call in the industry, a technical support contact that's not working for your company, but also, you know, but has your company's best interests in mind, but also knows about the setup that you have originally and can speak and work on it intelligently on your behalf with the carrier. And the last and final one that I want to go for is um, I had a guy with a small medical practice. It was a small doctor's office that contacted me, already signed up, not having any problems with service. He told me what carrier he had. Again, no quarrels out of me. I told him if I was in his shoes, I would have picked the same carrier. The catch was, was the phones that he was recommended, or, you know, I don't know if he decided on these phones. I, I believe that he decided on these phones, not the carrier. But the phones that he ended up with were completely not the right phones for his office. Not only were the features lacking on these phones and underserving his business and what he needed to be able to do from a functionality standpoint, he didn't even have the infrastructure in place in his office to be able to be compatible with or work with these phones. And so the guy ended up having service with a contract and a bunch of phones that he couldn't even use until he went and spent another thousands of dollars to basically get his network on the back end in order so that they could even work with the phones he had. And then to add injury to insult, or as we say, throw salt into the wound, you know, the phones that he had, if I was in his shoes, I told him, I would have went for a series that was a little higher that had more line capacity and better features for what he needed to do. But it really didn't matter because he was stuck as far as the phones he had. He was stuck in a contract. So, in conclusion, why would you shop directly? And this is me asking you guys this that are watching this video that are thinking, you know, I'm in the throes of voiceover IP. Should I go direct to the carrier or should I call this guy Prince? I don't know this guy. Why would you shop the carrier direct? I can get you better pricing nine times out of 10 and access to promotions that you probably don't even know exist if you let me shop the carrier on your behalf. Number two, you have me as a technical liaison and kind of as a go-to, as a non-biased go-to guy, a bridge between you and the carrier if problems arise or if you need help or if you just need somebody as an advisor, if you need to expand your system or if you're wondering if you should add more features or subtract features from your existing system or scenario. The other thing is um, I can match you up with the best service, you know. I get people that call me all the time, as I mentioned in these stories that I gave you, that end up with a carrier that quite honestly, even though the price was right, you know, and they're a good carrier, that carrier and their services weren't a good fit for them. I can match you up with the right carrier. I work with literally hundreds and hundreds of businesses across the United States. So I've seen more or less just about every scenario from the small mom pop shops where it's one or two people in a home office to I work with the big call centers that have got like three to 500 agents or more. So if you call me and we talk over the phone briefly and you tell me what it, a little bit more about your business and also what it is you're trying to accomplish with a new communication system, I can bring you one or more options that I know are a good fit for your business and we can cover all the bases and make sure that we don't miss anything. There's nothing left out as we go through the, you know, the selection process with the carriers. So anyways, Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business, phone, and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.